Greetings and salutations, everyone, and welcome to Let's Play Silence of the Sleep. I'm Kamchak Visco. Come join us for a spooky adventure. Do I have to guess? Is that the way this is gonna be? Shit, it's coming this way. Damn it! Go through the door! What are you doing? See if he's coming our way. Okay, there should be it going back to go downstairs. So we could follow it like we did last time. But we are so loud in this house. Get in the room! Okay. I don't know what the hell the numbers are for, but I have them written down. Alright, we're almost to a point where we can get back at save and then try the piano. Let's go save the damn game! <sighs> Alright, so we got the stupid note, but we're still missing two keys, so I'm guessing we gotta fill them in ourselves. Okay. D-B-E-F. <laughs> Unknown E E B. Is it EB? What was the last one? D. Alright, let's just try playing what we have. It's wait, it's not enough symbols, but... Wait a minute, the number we had. 2653581. So, E, E, B, E. E, E, B, E. Okay, three, five, eight. So, that'd be F, E, D, F, E, D, D, B. F, E, D, D, B. That's what the number was. That's why we were missing numbers. That makes so much more sense. I'm glad I figured that out quickly, because that could have been frustrating. The house is burning down? What the hell? Is this the symbolism of us burning our sin away or something? This is probably the end of this chapter. That was awfully dramatic sound at the end there. Uh, why does this look like we're viewing it through a uh, camera? Like an 80s camera. 80s camera system. Security or something. What the frick? Pouring a bottle of wine. This is the hotel. This isn't the end, is it? There's only three chapters? Zero, one, and two? Oh, that's creepy. That looks like Amara just stood up out of the tub. Or even worse, Alma. What can you see, Jacob? I see my journey. 
pain. And a woman. Chapter 3, The Treatment. I was gonna say, I did not think that was the end. Barely scratched the surface, it feels like. Uh, now we're in... Acapulco? Thank you, Jacob. We should call it a day. You arrive with such a short notice. It's getting late. You should head to bed. I'll show you around first thing tomorrow morning. Okay. Back with the therapist again. The psychologist? Psychiatrist? Ah! Didn't we just fend that thing off? Jacob, time to wake up. Where the hell am I now? Huh? My flashlight's got great. Day one, a place in the mist? This sounds foreboding. Nothing to say about the bed. Anything about the window? Nope. What about the cabinet? Junk. I don't need it. Good morning, Jacob. How did you sleep? Uh, morning. Hey, I know you're from the motel. Let's talk these things through later, Jacob. But now, follow closely and I'll show you around. Do I have to? We're in patient room six. Oh yes, your room is number six. We have nine patient rooms here in Moon Peak's care. You can find most of these rooms in this hallway. You can move freely about, but remember, good manners, Jacob. Okay, let us continue. Okay. Um, I was gonna, I was gonna say, I walked off screen. Here we have one of the main wards of our care. Most of the second floor is a simple square, so getting around is pretty easy. But I'll show you. Come on, Jacob. There's a version of that clock. From here, you can go to our little entertainment room. This is where people usually gather together for recreation. Once we are finished with our tour, be sure to check it out. That's definitely the clock. Here we have our fireplace. Nothing quite as relaxing as the sound of fire and the flickering of flames. I think the end of my last chapter would argue differently. Hey, Doc. Morning, Mark. How are you? Pretty good. Thank you, Doc. So who is this? Do we have a new patient? Yes, Mark, this is Jacob. Welcome to the loony bin, Jacob. Jacob arrived here late yesterday evening. Would you give him a little breathing room, Mark? Ah, of course. Sorry, Doc. That's fine, Mark. I'm sure you two will get along well. But now, where were we? Why is he holding a candle? Assuming that's a candle. Now, from here you can get to both our entertainment and art therapy rooms. We keep our therapy room locked when we don't use it. You'll get to see it at some point. It's really breathtaking. It's really a breathtaking place. Well, there's the save point. At the far end, you can find the elevator that will take you to the first floor. It's smaller than the living quarters up here, but we'll go there every now and then to eat, for example. But let's not go there now, but up here. Come, Jacob. I'm, I'm gonna save. I can't save during the tour. Okay. This thing really is a square. Bathrooms. Here you can find the bathrooms. We also have two bathrooms downstairs. Not much else to see here. Let's continue. It's always important to know where the can is. Just saying. Yeah, there's like a delay when we walk off screen with him. Here we have the rest of the patient's rooms. It's interesting that we start going left, because it's a square. And here is my office. I always keep my door locked when I'm not present, but if you see me through the window and I don't look too busy, you're welcome to talk to me. Alright, let's get back to your room. This way, Jacob. Well, yeah, you can see if he's sitting in the chair. And here's our room. I'm sorry, Jacob. I'm awfully busy now, so it was a pretty short tour. Feel free to look around and be sure to talk to all the people. It's breakfast time. You should head downstairs. Once you're familiar with the place and the people, come and talk to me. We can begin your very first hypnotherapy. 
Okay. Thank you, Jacob. See you later. Thanks, Mr... Oh, pardon me. Clifford Russell at your service. Okay, thanks, Clifford. Yeah, I don't think you call your therapist by the first name, just saying. Room is locked. So there's nine total patients? And we've already accessed five rooms here. Although for now, they're locked. Okay. Yeah, now it's instant loading when I go there. Before we go into any of the entertainment rooms, I want to recap where we've been. It's that damn clock, man. No comment about that, huh? What about the fire? What about you and your candle, buddy? Hey, Mark, was it? Hello, Jacob. Yeah, they call me Mark. Huh, it's pretty quiet here. Yeah, I think people are having breakfast downstairs. It gets more lively once they're back up. I see. Sorry to ask, Jacob, but are you okay? You look a bit distracted. I'm fine, thanks. Just a bit tired. Yeah, that's why we're here. Hope it helps. I'm off to have a look around. Bye, Mark. Talk to you later, Jacob. Yeah, I definitely want to check out the art room and the uh, entertainment room while everybody's at dinner. That's the elevator going down. What? Is there anything in the trash can? Can I search it? There's a letter. I tried talking to him. Nothing to worry about, he said, but I don't know. There's something going on. Something is happening. That's all there is. Well, yeah, you honestly think this is it? Where the hell is this go? It's locked. It's empty. Since when did I start searching trash cans? Since we're in another ethereal world, that's when. Check out the men's room. Nothing to see about the sinks, nothing about the bathroom stalls. So I guess there's, if it's not overt, it's not in the can. Canteen's right there. Uh, not sure what that door is. I'm not a lady. Dwight W, Brad B, Will A, Dewey D, Gerald W, Jacob R, Mark W, so Mark's in room 7, Lorenzo Z, Mr. L. Oh, whoa. No kidding with the mist. I can barely see my feet. Wow, that is foggy. Can't go any further. Not even if I wanted to. Can I comment on the trees? What about the bench? No? Alright. So that's outside. I don't want to go into the canteen yet. I want to keep poking around. So where does the elevator go? If this goes straight to the, uh... Wait, so what was this room? It's locked. Okay. Still can't go to the ladies? Yeah, not the ladies. Okay, hey, bathrooms are a common theme in horror games. I'm just saying. Okay, so we can take showers here. Looks like something's on the wall, that one. Nope, okay, apparently nothing. If not overt, not interactable. Alright, patient nine. Oh, hello, I can walk right in. Clothes and stuff, I don't need them. Okay, what's on the table? Um, really? N nothing, nothing about the table, huh? Nothing here. Okay. What is this room? It's locked. Eh, it doesn't matter. Patient room eight. This one's open too. Lorenzo's room. Why are some of these open? That's really weird. Can't interact with the bed, can't interact with the stool in the background, or the window, or the couch. Okay. Room seven. Cool wooden cabinet. It's locked though, so we gotta get a key. Nothing I can use. This was whose room again? Patient room seven. Mark's room. So Mark's the one that has a key to a locked cabinet. He's not in. It's locked, I figured. My personal thanks to each and every one of you for tuning in. You all are awesome viewers. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch my video. It means a lot to me, and I do hope you enjoy it. You take care of yourselves. If you want to see more of me, kill up the video on the list, or stay tuned for more. Feel free to leave a comment below, and please remember to tag that like button if you enjoyed the video. In the meantime, fare thee well, everyone.